God bless you. This is Dr. Courtney Pope, and I want to welcome you to Living Devotions. Let's go into the Word of God. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 6, reading from the New Living Translation, in verse 1, it reads, It was in the year King Uzziah died that I saw the Lord. He was sitting on a, th on a lofty throne, and the train of his robe filled the temple. I want to talk about something that's going on just between that statement of what Isaiah says in the year that King Uzziah died, that he also saw the Lord sitting on a lofty throne. I want to share with you today a little thought, the game of thrones. We understand that I, uh, King Uzziah was a good king of Israel or Judah. He was a godly king. He accomplished a lot of things. He was successful. So when there's a successful leader, it's easy for the people, his subjects, the nation, to uh, lift him up, to esteem him, to uh, wish him the best because of the benefits that they are receiving in their lives. This is something where we, where we are today, uh, within the United States in particular. We uh, have presidents, and we, we'll, we will prefer one president over the other. But this Game of Thrones, we have to watch who we are worshiping on the throne. King Uzziah was a great king, but it was in the year that he died that, his, that the focus of Isaiah had to be transferred from a human to the, to the supernatural, to the divine deity. And we have to be careful that we don't make people our subject of worship and that we understand that where the game of thrones are involved, that there could be only one person that we acknowledge as the most high. And that most high person is the most high God. Isaiah said, in the year that King Uzziah died, I also saw the Lord. One throne was vacant so that another throne could be revived or apparent. Isaiah was already a priest. He was already in the priesthood. However, he did not have a personal encounter or relationship with the king of kings. He knew of the king of the nation, King Uzziah. But when that king was removed through death, it was then that Isaiah could focus on the right throne. And it was from that point that Isaiah's encounter with God earmarked the rest of his life. This is what I encourage you today, that you will seek the right king and the right throne. It's a game of thrones in the age that we're living in now but only one could be esteemed as the Lord of Lord and the King of Kings. The psalmist said he is the God of gods. So we have to worship him as we read in our Bibles. In the uh, book of Revelation, in chapter 4, it gives us some of the praise and accolades that goes to our King in heaven. And the words say, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God, the Almighty, the one who always was, who is, and who is still to come. The Bible says that this praise is going forth to God in heaven every day and every night. So if heaven is given the king that kind of praise while he sits on his throne, let that throne be evident and apparent, apparent to you that you will day after day give all of the glory and all of the honor to the king. This is a game of thrones. You have to choose the right throne, and the right king to worship. God. You're my king eternal. The fairest among 10,000. You're the lover of my soul, the captain of my salvation. You're the king eternal. Where you at? Come on, church. The fairest of all, ten thousand. You're the lover of my soul. You're the lover of my soul. The captain of my salvation. Come on and sing it with me. You're the king. The fairest among ten thousand. The fairest among ten thousand. 
You're the lover of my soul. Captain of my salvation, you're the king, you're the king, king eternal, the fairest among, among ten thousand, you're the lover, you're the lover of my soul. yourself in Revelation near the end of the third chapter Jesus says behold I stand I'm talking to the worshipers right now behold I stand at the door and knock he says I stand at the door and knock then read that but then keep reading not don't read it like in chapters and verses read it the way it all happened then in chapter 4 verse 1 my God. John said, after the Lord said, after the Lord said, I stand at the door and knock. He says, there was a door open in heaven. And when the door opened, he heard a voice that said, 
said, come up higher. Where you at? Where you at? Come up higher, and I will show you great and mighty things which are to come. How many want to ascend into that place with God, where the Lord reveals with you and reveals to you and shares with you his heart and heavenly things and heavenly matters and kingdom matters for kingdom people? Can you wave your hand and bless him and worship him? Come on.